Who's this? Keisha Jean-Baptiste, Patient Experience Specialist. I facilitate non-clinical education for MedStar Washington Hospital Center Associates all across the hospital. I also manage performance improvement projects in order to help uh, improve the patient experience. The best part of my job is being able to share information, tools, and resources to help associates then impact the patient. Uh, one of my most uh, memorable experiences, I did a training for a patient and guest uh, service associate, and we did a role play about how to work with a patient who may have a complaint. And right after the training, I saw him in the hallway, and he thanked me for uh, sharing how to handle a difficult situation because he said the next day he actually had an experience and he was able to use the tools and the resources that I taught him and he said it helped to change um, the situation. I'm from New York City. I was born in Queens but raised in Brooklyn, New York. My grandmother helped to raise me along with my mom and we grew up in the neighborhood of Bedford Stuyvesant. I would say that my background in social work has led me to this position that I now hold here at MedStar Washington Hospital Center. It started out with me watching my mom. My mom was a selfless person. She was someone that loved helping anyone who was in need. She would, you know, cook them a fresh meal. It could be strangers. They would stop by and ask for a plate and my mom would give it to them. So she was always someone that loved helping people as a child watching her. You know, uh, you know, give of herself um, was something that uh, was able to influence me and and what I do today. In 2014, I almost lost my life. I had suffered from a pulmonary embolism in my lung, and I went to many different hospitals, and they weren't able to diagnose what was wrong with me. I was able to go to MedStar, a MedStar facility. And I had a doctor who was so compassionate. And, you know, she knew that I had had numerous visits to the ER. And so she said, I'm going to admit you if I have to. I'm going to test you from your head to your toes. And I will find out what's, what's wrong with you. They found out that I had a blood clot in my leg and I had one in my right lung. And they told me it was a 50-50 chance of me surviving. And then they wouldn't know until the next day after they've given me medication. My first moment of truly experiencing patient experience and compassion was when the nurses and the techs came in, I was crying, and they came in and they hugged me. And they said, we know your family is not here with you, but we're gonna be your family. And we cried, and they hugged me, and they said, we're gonna check on you. Even though you're gonna go to another unit, we promise to check on you, we'll be here with you through this. And they were. I'm so uh, thankful and grateful that I was able to make it. You know, and that night I, I prayed and I said, God, please spare me and let me make it to see another day. And if you do, I promise to make an impact with anybody I come in contact with, whether it's a smile or a listening ear, I promise from this day forward to make an impact with the life, the second chance at life that you've given me. And I do that until this day.